Wizard of West LA here. For this next project, you're going to need an Arduino. You're going to need a project board, which you don't have to solder. You just push the parts in. Some connector wire. Okay. And then what we're looking at is you're going to need something called resistors. These are what resistors look like. On all of these they have color bands okay so the ones you're going to be after ordering are 1 kilo ohm 10 kilo ohms and 220 ohms now there's another way you can do this you can use a voltmeter if you have a bunch of random ones you can use a voltmeter like this and you have the two ends okay and there's an example of the ohm sign and this is an M which is mega ohm okay so that's the sign you're looking for so what I'm going to do let's look at say we don't know what this one is okay this is a resistor and they have color codes I'll post that in the comment section of what the color code is okay so what you do we test these so you put one don't put them across, okay? Put them on the very end. Put one here and one here to test it, okay? So they make a connection. You see the number change, I'll move it out of the way. Now you see the K. So that is about one K ohm, see? One kilo ohm, that's one, that's one of the ones you need. You'll never get exactly one K, that's one kilo ohm. So we have that one, and then let's look at the other one and I want to see what these are. We're going to hook it to the end. That one is 10 kilo ohms. Notice that it has sometimes goes under, sometimes goes over. We have another one. Let's hook this one up and see what this one is. Let's do the same with this. Okay, so we hook them up together and this is about two, we're looking for 220 ohms. This is 218, this is close. So what we're going to do with this is hook up the 5 volt line on the Arduino to ground so it's going to use it like a battery and we're going to hook up the LED in place so you can see the brightness of it okay so on this kit we have a lot of LEDs so let's take a look at one of them so we have a long side and a short side the long side is positive the short side is negative so we want to hook up the Arduino okay we want to hook up the area where it says 5 volts Okay, so you want to hook up there where it says 5V, and the other one you're interested in is the one below it called ground. So it's this one and this one. These two are the ones you want to hook up. And the way this works with these boards is the red is positive. Whatever you hook into here, okay, all of this line, this one line, makes contact on the plus, okay? And there it is right here labeled plus. And whatever you hook up on this side is the minus, and it makes contact going through the whole board. Okay? They're called power bars. Right here is the minus where it hooks up. So let's hook this up. What we're going to do is run a red wire and a black wire. So what we do is we put on where it says 5 volts, we put the connector there where it says 5 volts, as you can see. Oh, it's even labeled on this side, see? We hook, put the uh, connector on 5 volts right there. We put the other wire where it says ground, right there. So you should have that hooked up. And then you put them on the board, okay? So you can put it on red, and then you can you can move it up and put a negative on that side so you can do that so now is the LED so on the negative side which is the shorter one we will put on this side okay as you can see we're going to put it on the negative side and we're going to put the other side in another hole next to it 
the way I have it there where it kind of matches up. So I have one in that hole where it says 25 and then I have the other one in the negative part right there. So now we try different resistors. So the first one we are going to try is the 10K. Another quick note on this, you don't want to run it without the resistor because if you try to run it without the resistor, you will blow out the LED. The resistors lower the current is what they do. So what I'm going to do is put a line from where it says 25. You have access to all of these holes going all the way down on uh, 25. So I'll, I can put it on the end. So what you do is you join this. There we go. Okay, so I have that and that I'm going to put on the positive right over here. There. So now you can see it goes from here, goes through. I can use this one. Okay, it goes from the, the negative, goes through the LED, comes around, goes through here, and then goes back through here. So now, always obviously do that with the Arduino turned off. So I'm going to plug it in, and then you can see the brightness. There we go. So now you can see the brightness of how that looks. So that is a 10K. I'm going to disconnect it, and let's change the value. Let's pull this out. Okay, so this is 1K. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to put one here. So now we have the same thing. We have it hooked up from there to there. Now this is 1K. Let's see what that does. It's even brighter. So let's change values. There. Okay, so that is hooked up across. Same spot. Let's plug in the Arduino and see what that does. There we go. So you can take a look and see how this looks on the video and you can see the difference in brightness. If you like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel because we'll be doing a lot of projects with Arduino. And remember, keep on learning.